everybody. Well, today's video is my February favorites video. So as I mentioned last month, I'm going to be taking items from my makeup collection every month and using them so that I can include them in my favorites. And hopefully I'll be working through my collection and using a lot of old, well not really old things, as long as with showing some of my new things. So the first thing that I pulled out that I hadn't been using in quite a while is my Laura Mercier. It's the uh, Mocha Spice Quad. Just like that. And I love this. I took this with me when I went on vacation and it was really great because it was my contour, it was my blush, it was my highlighter, sort of all rolled into one. And those are the colors. I use the uh, pink and sort of the peach colors for blushes. I use the lighter color for highlighting and then I use the brown color for contouring. Absolutely love it. It's really a great product. It's their illuminating powder. The next thing that I pulled out this month that I'm really crazy about and that I've had probably I think maybe for a couple of months is my Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in lavender. Here's the color. What a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Love this. Let me see if I can get the camera to pick up the name off the back. There you, go. you know I really love her eyeshadows. Um, I think that Bobbi Brown and Inglot, Inglot being first, are definitely my favorites. Here's a swatch of the color. Absolutely love this. Now what I'll do is I'll pair this with like a taupe color or a brown color in the crease. Um, but it really is pretty just wearing it all by itself too. Keeping with eyeshadows and going into something new that of course that I've shown you already is one of my Inglot shadows. And specifically this one is the DS496. It's the white one that I showed you. I have been loving this. I use this to um, brighten the inner corner of my eyes and I just love this shadow. It is really well pigmented so you can make it as heavy or as light as you want. It's so super blendable that you can soften it right in and it is just the perfect inner corner eye color. I love it. For foundation, I absolutely love, 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 love my makeup forever. I cannot tell you how much. Actually, I think I just did. Um, I think it is absolutely the best. I have it in the color of 32. And it is just a great foundation. What I like about it is the fact that when I wear it, I do not feel like I'm wearing foundation at all. It just sinks right into my skin. It definitely evens out my skin color. It definitely tones down in any redness that I have. It works as a great base for my blush and for contouring. And I just love it. You do have to remember to really shake it up quite a bit before you use it. But it just glides on. I'm really actually amazed at the end of the day when I go to clean my face that I really have the product on because it's so light on your skin you don't really realize that you're wearing it. Um, I have been trying out the last couple of days. I got a sample of the Chanel Aqua. Um, I'm not really liking it that much. I'm finding it to be pretty drying. So I'm going to try it a little bit more. Luckily I just have some sample packages of it. But this is definitely my go-to foundation. Another new product that I have and that I'm really loving, although I do not believe the name at all, is my new 10 Years Younger Makeup Finish. And this is just a finishing spray. This does work really, really well. Do I believe for a moment that it makes you look 10 years younger? No, as a matter of fact, I don't think it makes you look 10 seconds younger. But it does work as a finishing spray. My go-to lip combination this month, especially because I was away, is I went and pulled out my MAC Everhip. I use this, I think, pretty much almost every day or every other day this summer. Absolutely love this color. It's a, sort of a peachy pink, although I really think it has a lot more peach to it. I am wearing it. Um, I decided because everybody has been complaining about how long and cold this winter is, and we hopefully it's going to be spring, so I figured I'd sort of dress as spring and do my makeup as spring, hence the uh, pink jacket and the uh, lipstick combination. But anyways, I'm wearing it today. It's really a pretty, pretty shade. And what I decided to pair it with, which is something else that I pulled out of my collection, was my Revlon Lip Gloss in Coral Reef. Now, those of you who remember this past summer, this was like the it thing. Everybody was dying to get a hold of it. It was actually a little bit difficult to get. And my friend Sandy up in Canada, Thelmaloo 475, uh, sent me a frantic, I think, uh, text, tweet, call, I forget. She actually really, really wanted it. And of course, I ran out. I bought it for myself and I bought one for her and shipped it up. And I think it's pretty much available now. But it really is such a pretty, pretty shade. And I think the two as a combination is really nice for spring and for summer. For lining my waterline, I'm really crazy about my Chanel Cole pencil in Claire. 
I really like this. I really like the shade of it. Now, I have a, a MAC liner that I bought, I think also this past summer, and I really like that also. I find this to be a much more natural color. And you know that I stay away from the white because I think the white is really too stark, but I've really been needing this a lot lately because my allergies have just been absolutely crazy. So I don't know if you can tell, my eyes are always bloodshot and the inner corner of my, the inner rims of my eyes are definitely always red. So this really does the trick. I have two brush favorites this month. The first one is my Chanel um, eyeshadow, no, I think it's called actually an eye blender brush, which is number three. Love this. It definitely looks like what every other um, blender shadow brush looks like, but I just love the quality quality of this brush. It's extremely soft, yet it's really dense, so it, it's just perfect for going in and contouring. Um, and I will admit that a lot of times if I'm lazy and I'm in a rush to get out the door, I will use it to put on my shadow as, a, as well as to do my contouring. So can't say enough about the brush. Absolutely love it. And the second one that I love, I have to give a shout out to my friend Raul because he's the one that showed it and I went out and got it right after I saw it. It is just the best. It's the Sephora Professional. It's number 45. They actually sell this as the as a, a mineral powder brush, but I use it for everything. I've used it for my liquid foundation. I've used to do the contouring with my Chanel Universal. And you know what I always say, once you buy it, it's yours. Use it however you want to use it. Now my last makeup item and then I have two non-makeup items is my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. Love it, love it, love it, love it. It is so great. I love putting mascara on my bottom lashes but I hate having raccoon eyes. And as I've become more faithful for keeping that area hydrated, the, the raccoon eyes get worse. So years ago I did go and have those lashes dyed but here in Massachusetts and I'm not sure if it's the same uh, across our country they banned um, dyeing in eyelash dyeing in salon, so it's not available anymore. And I'm a little bit afraid to really try it on my own. Um, I have spoken to a couple of friends in London where it is available, so it might be available in in um, other parts of the world as well as it might be available in other parts of the country. But here in Massachusetts, it's not available. So I've always missed being able to do my lashes and. I heard about this, I had to go out right out and try it. And I'm sure that if you've been watching YouTube this week, you've seen that there are tons of people that have bought it and I have not heard one person not liking it. Everybody seems to really like it. And I'm joining in on the crowd. It is absolutely fabulous. It has the cutest, cutest little wand to it. Look at this. How cute is that? And it fits perfectly, so I like it because it just gives some sort of a wispy look, so just a little bit of color, but I'm sure that you could go in and put on extra coats and it would be fine too, so this is a, a huge winner for me this month. So my first non-makeup item is my RX Vitamins Liquid D3. I showed this to you guys quite a long time ago. This is a vitamin D supplement. You take a couple of drops under your tongue to get the daily requirements that you need of vitamin D. It was recommended to me by my gynecologist. Um, you do know that if you read any type of science journals or really any kind of magazine articles at all, um, pick up the New York Times, go to the science section, there's endless, endless, and the health section of course too, there are endless, endless articles about the fact that we've become vitamin D deficient. Now, um, there are those who believe that perhaps they can supplement it from the sun and that really was a thought years and years ago but we now know that that's not true. The sun has to be at a certain height in the sky, the sun has to come and hit you at a certain angle, you have to be at the right place in the earth, it has to be the right time of day, etc, etc, etc. so many different variables of how to get a sufficient amount and even at that it's pretty much impossible. So the question is then what to do. Now a lot of people do supplement it through their, uh, through nutrition and through what they eat. I'm sorry, I just have not been religious enough to watch to make sure that I have enough. So when this was recommended to me, it was a win-win situation, and I highly urge everybody out there to check it out and to ask their doctors. This is $18 for the bottle. It absolutely lasts forever, and as I said, you put a couple drops on your tongue. It does not taste like anything, and I think it's really important. My last favorite of the month is something that you've seen in every one of my videos, but I thought maybe it was time that she made a personal appearance, although it really is just on film, but we'll just pretend anyways. And it's my puppy dog, Maisie. So there's Mays. I'll bring her a little closer so you can see her. And I'm sure she's thinking, what in the world is going on? So this is Maisie. She is my four pound poodle. Uh, she's actually a teacup poodle. She, we thought that she was four pounds, but she's actually 4.7 pounds because we went to the vet the other day and she got weighed in. Although Maisie did tell me that she felt that the technician had her toe on the scale, but I wasn't watching, so I'm not sure. But we'll just keep her secret. So Maisie's the one that leaves all those cute little comments at the end. She's a very clever little puppy, and she's definitely the sweetest, sweetest girl in the whole world. 
So that's it everybody. That's my favorites for the month of February. I hope everybody has a glorious weekend planned. It is beautiful out. I am going to actually wrap this up and go out and do some errands. I um, have a few things to drop off at the post office for some friends of mine. And then just have pretty much a leisurely weekend planned, which is just one of the best ever to plan. So that's everybody. Take care. Speak to you soon.